The labor movement is as relevant today as ever and continues to benefit communities and the wider society. Fairly recently, we have had the problem of a rise in energy charges that have been causing all kinds of difficulties in our country. What the public doesn't know is that at our conference last August 2021, that was held up at the, the gymnasium. At our conference, one of the resolutions which were passed in the conference by the workers of the Barbados Workers' Union on behalf of all the people in Barbados was that the executive council should approach the government and that government should go about reviewing its energy policy to reduce the cost of energy, not just at the service stations, but generally to reduce energy charges. I'm pleased to say that that had a very strong and positive and immediate response. Sarai Trotman underscores the benefits of a strong labor movement as Barbados and other countries mark May Day or Labor Day and the Barbados Workers' Union celebrates 80 years of trade activism in Barbados. Today, the worker works harder and all he's told is you have to be more productive and you have to work harder without anybody understanding that the factor of globalization and the competition it has brought about has brought even those employers that want to be fair, have brought them to positions where they want more in their bottom lines. And in doing so, they try to take away the benefits which workers have historically enjoyed. The former president of the Caribbean Congress of Labor adds, Something people frequently ask themselves or sometimes even ask John Public. And that something is, what is in this business of the trade union for me? I am not a public servant. I, and in many parts of the world, you hear that public servants get or don't get benefits. In Barbados, we are able to say that workers, by and large, are free to join the trade union movement of their choice. The law allows for that. And sometimes people who are not members are able to receive the benefits that the trade union movement negotiates because when we negotiate a collective agreement, even those workers who are not members of the union must receive benefits equal to those that are negotiated. The downside of that is that when people don't join the union and only wait to receive the benefit, their lack of action sometimes results in the package that is negotiated being less than otherwise it would be. So it is always in our better interest to join and make the package more what you want more at the level that suits your various needs and your various concerns. President of the Congress of Trade Unions and Staff Associations, Edwin O'Neill, echoes these sentiments. I want to suggest that every feature of social protection that the wider population of Barbados now enjoys has got its genesis in the bubbles of the labor movement. Approximately 160 countries observe May Day to show support for fair labor practices. Anne-Marie Bailey, CBC News.